Fox News, Rush Limbaugh, and even Hitler are still talking about Osama bin Laden's death. Good morning, this is Toad Vlogs in the Morning Show. And everybody's talking about it. There are literally thousands upon thousands of videos of, about Osama bin Laden's death. But some of them that caught my eye, um, this a YouTuber named Kitteridge69 made a video using a footage of Adolf Hitler, and this footage is used a lot, um, talking to his elite. And uh, it's in German, so they, but people add subtitles to whatever they think. And, and, and uh, Kitteridge69 quickly, very quickly, put together some subtitles for this, this video, released it, of Adolf Hitler all upset about Saddam Laden's death. Uh, here's Kitteridge's account here, and if we can get some, you can see Kitteridge has a total of 18 subscribers, but managed to make a video getting over 70,000 views in one day. Way to go, you know, talk about viral video. Uh, I hope that really does well for you. Um, even though I'm sure that that will be fun to try to get uh, paid from uh, uh, YouTube since it's not your technically your video. But, you know, fair use, fair use. So, yeah, so that that video, if you, I will put a link to all of these videos and everything else in the crash box below so you can watch it. It is quite hilarious. He did it, he, he or she did a really good job. Uh Fox News. Fox News is talking about Osama bin Laden, and they're like, well, you know how Fox News just loves to hate on Obama. Well, you know, Obama did okay of a job, but, you know, this is really about George Bush. George W. Bush ascended from heaven on his white stallion with a banner saying, mission accomplished, and personally went down and smited Osama bin Laden himself. Nobody else was involved. That's not quite how badly they spun this uh, news, uh, if you can call Fox News news. But yeah, there it's pretty bad there. <clears throat> and of course, everybody and is anybody saying Saddam gone, Osama bin Laden gone, Justin Bieber, who's next? Poor Justin, he gets hate so much. Yeah, so Fox News wants to spin it that it's all George Bush that did this. You know, he set everything up way before. Yeah, sure, he closed down the tax force that was supposed to catch up Saddam bin Laden, but uh, Osama bin Laden, damn. <clears throat> it's way too early to make videos in the morning. <laughs> I get so tongue-tied. So anyways, yeah, so that was Fox News. Now Rush Limbaugh goes the other direction. He praises Obama to the nth degree. Obama only came up with this idea. Obama, um, you know, is a god for coming up with this idea. And the military wasn't even involved, blah, 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 blah. And his voice is, it starts off very, you know, like, okay, I'm going to give him credit for this. And then it goes to a point where you're like, are you being sarcastic? Or are you just on a lot of drugs? You're not really sure with that. You know, you watch the clips of uh, of uh, Rush t talking. Yeah, he, I mean, it sounds like he's trying to be sarcastic because nobody claimed that Barack Obama swooped in there and did it himself. Nobody claimed that it was only his idea. Um, I've never heard that anywhere. Yeah, okay, he's the president of the United States. He gave the okay. He probably had a little bit of say on what scenario was used, uh, because it, you know it's a political matter as well, right? They're going into a foreign country and uh, killing people there. So, yeah, he was definitely involved and probably had the final say. But come up with the idea? I don't think so. Maybe he proved the idea, but he didn't come up with the idea. So I don't know where Rush is going with this because it's not really clear whether he's just so stoned. That he doesn't know where he's going himself, or but it sounds like he's trying to be sarcastic, but it doesn't come across clearly. So I don't know what Rush is going on about. 
Um, it turns out that the Osama bin Laden news was actually first uh, reported by a Pakistani uh, IT tech on Twitter. And a lot of people are being critical of him because he reported that the helicopters were overhead before the actual attack took place. Because they woke him up. You know, he was trying to sleep, and all of a sudden there's helicopters overhead, and he's like, well, you know what, hey, what the hell's with the helicopters? And he's actually quite uh, amusing in his tweets. So um, I actually uh, signed up to follow him, see if he's still amusing later on, but... Uh, yeah, so this this IT tech in the videos below of talking about him uh, was the first to tweet on this, and he's getting a little bit of hate because he reported it before the operation even took, while it was taking place, before and after, because the helicopters went over his head, and I know I've had black helicopters swoop over my house after what I was reporting on George Bush back in, when he was president. They're quite annoying. <laughs> you know, they they definitely do not uh, blend into the background. So yeah, so I understand why if he's trying to sleep in these helicopters overhead, he's annoyed. So yeah, um, so you check out that story, and uh, finally, uh, the Young Turks bring up: Should we leave Afghanistan now that Osama bin Laden is dead? Yes, we should leave Afghanistan, and I think the Americans should also leave Iraq. Okay, the war on terror is over. We won. Okay, you know, none of you know we got to get rid of these endless wars. The war on drugs, the war on prostitution, the war on uh, terror. Endless wars cost a fortune, and they never do anything. You want to set up task force? That's fine, but don't call it a war, you're, then you're spending nth degree amount of money without even looking what you're spending it on. So yeah, we need to bring the troops home because they did their job. And let's let's bring them home. And let's stop killing innocent people over somebody who's dead. He's dead now. As uh, Captain Kirk would say, he's dead, Jim. Hey, press the subscribe button. It's easy.